Welcome to WatchGuard Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is password manager vulnerabilities. Before I start, this story was supposed to come out yesterday, but I made the new mistake of not checking my mic's batteries, which you should not do if you're a videographer. And by the way, I already started today's video with a mistake as well, since I wore a green shirt when I'm filming in front of a green screen. But luckily, I had a solution for that, so we will have today's video. Anyways, yesterday, the Washington Post released an article talking talking about a number of vulnerabilities in the most popular password managers, including the likes of uh, LastPass, 1Password, KeepPass, and many others. Now, their article was based on research from a group that called themselves the Independent Security Evaluators. And this group found a number of local vulnerabilities that allow attackers to recover some of your passwords in clear text. And in one worst case, they could even recover your master password, which is the most important one. Now, before we start, in case you don't know what a password manager is, it's an application that can remember your hundreds or even thousands of really strong, secure passwords so that you don't have to. You've probably seen me give you uh, password security best practice tips many times. They are, use a long password. I don't use passwords that are under 16 characters, so make it 16 characters or longer. They should also be very random passwords, uh, not human readable. And finally, you should be using different passwords at every single website you visit or every application you open. Now, obviously, that's pretty impossible for a human to do, to remember lots of like 32 character random passwords for every single site. No one I know can do that, which is why a password manager exists. Basically, it remembers all your passwords for you, and it will store them in a very strongly encrypted file, whether on your local computer or in the cloud, and it will automatically input them into any web forms you go to or applications you open. Now, the one flaw here is, in order to put your password into a website or an application, there is a period of time where the password manager has to decrypt your password and store it in your local computer's memory. And what these researchers correctly guessed is not all programs do a good job of securing memory. And long story short, all of their flaws have to do with ways that they could actually recover clear text passwords from memory on your local computer. And in some cases, they could only get passwords that you were inputting in the websites at a certain time. But at least in one case, they could recover the master password in clear text, which is the most important password since is the one you have to remember to use a password manager. Now, these are serious flaws, but there is a big mitigating factor. They're local vulnerabilities. An attacker has to already have taken over your computer and probably installed malware on your computer in order to have the access needed to recover these passwords from your local memory. That's not to say these are bad flaws. I fully expect the vendors out there to actually update their password managers to fix these local memory-based vulnerabilities. That said, it's not the worst thing in the world. You know, if someone already has control of your computer, you have a lot of other problems to deal with first. So what are the practical tips? Well, first of all, if you already use a password manager, especially one of the ones affected by this research, you should watch your vendor and look for a security update in the future to fix these flaws. The second, and really the main reason I'm doing this video, is I don't want this research to discourage you from using password managers. Some of the headlines I've seen about this research talk about uh, many password managers being insecure, and it might convince some users that they're not worth it. That's not the case. Unfortunately, passwords are going to be in our life for some time to come. So if you want to use passwords properly, you need to follow best practices. And the only way to do that uh, as a human is to have a password manager. So despite these flaws, I highly encourage you to use a password manager. Finally, uh, use multi-factor authentication. If you have multi-factor authentication, even if you leak a password once in a while, the other factors are going to protect your, your network and protect you from any attacker that's trying to log in as you. Uh, by the way, AuthPoint makes a great multi-factor authentication product you can use for your enterprise. Anyways, this is a fantastic story. If you want to know more of the technical details, I'd be sure to link uh, to the Washington Post article and even these researchers' content uh, in the blog post associated with this video. 
video. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching. And by the way, hopefully the audio is still working as we speak.